uh, Luke chapter 16 verses 9 onwards today I'll be speaking about breaking the spirit of mammon okay breaking the spirit of mammon that is the last uh, segment of this four-part series breaking the spirit of mammon the word mammon is only mentioned four times in the Bible four times okay three of which Jesus actually said okay and you see it in two Gospels, Luke, and I believe that is in Matthew or Mark. Uh, it is said, it is mentioned about, you know, uh, about the spirit of mammon and Jesus talks about it. Uh, and here we are going to already in this verse, I think mammon is mentioned like three times already as we read the scripture. So there was something that was connected to mammon that can affect our blessed life now we talked about blessed life is not about just only blessed wallet or blessed purse we are talking about a blessed life because every area of our life needs to be blessed amen. somebody say amen to that amen. okay if you are watching online type blessed if you're watching online type blessed if you're here and watching online uh, still you can type blessed also <laughs> Okay, uh, right. Blessed. I am blessed. You are prophesying over yourself and say, I am blessed. Would you say that to yourself? I am blessed. Kayla said, speak to your soul. Say to your soul, I am blessed. I am blessed. You know, that means health. That means future. That means education. That means mentally, spiritually, in every area of your life, marriage, children, uh, whatever that you think of, you can be blessed. Amen. So we are going to look at the spirit of mammon because it hinders us from actually entering to the blessed life. Luke chapter 16 verses 9 through 13. 1, 2, 3. Let's read together. And I say to you, okay, unrighteous mammon, that when you fail, they may receive you into an everlasting home. Now, you might not really understand that verse, but we're going to make sense of it, okay? Number 10. He who is faithful is faithful also in much. And he who is unjust is... Verse number 11. 1, 2, 3. Therefore, if you unrighteous mammon who will commit to you your trust the uh, they are not reading even the true riches right is there right ah, it's not ah, it's coming next verse is it oh, okay true riches oh I'm sorry and if one and if you have not been faithful in what is another man's who will give you what is your own? No servant. You cannot. Everybody say together. You serve and mammon. Now the word mammon actually is an Aramic term. In, it comes from the root word uh, that is coming from Aramic word called riches when you really look into it but that word was generated in actually Babylon okay the word actually comes riches that actually came from Babylon do you know where Babylon was birthed out of anybody any guesses Tower of Babel how many of you understand Tower of Babel? How many of you know Tower of Babel? Heard the story of Tower of Babel, okay? Okay? What happened when they build the tower? What happened? When they were, when they were building the tower, what did they say? When we reach, we will not need God. So actually this root word comes from there. Where you feel like, I don't need God anymore. I have everything I want. I have everything I need. So I need God. I don't need God anymore. That is the root of mammon. When you feel like, man, you got all the money, so I don't need God. You don't feel like you need to have the need. So Babel, what they were talking about is, hey, if we build this tower, if we build this tall enough and reach the heavens, 
We don't need God anymore. Sometimes we also feel, <laughs> not people over here, we feel like, you know, if we have money enough, you know, then God, you know, God can also be there because I want to go to heaven. But I, I want money, you know, I want money. We'll talk about, we'll address that later. But Babel means, means confusion. Babylon means sown in confusion. Okay, so what this spirit does is confuses you from the blessed life that you can have. You get what I'm saying? A spirit of mammon, everybody says spirit of mammon. I reject it in Jesus' name. Okay, uh, they, they thought riches are enough for them. When they were building that tower, they thought riches are enough for them. You know what that, 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 that thing comes from a place of pride. How many agree with me? It comes from a sense of pride where you say, you know, hey, I don't need God. I have achieved this thing. I got everything together. So I don't need God. I don't need his provision. I don't need his hand. What I have is enough. I can do all things. <laughs> then through Christ Jesus, who strengthens. <laughs> okay, you, you see... Uh, no, the, the verse, I didn't come there yet. The Bible verse. Uh, it says that Jesus said, you cannot, everybody say you cannot. Okay, serve God and mammon. Remember, mammon is looking for servants. Mammon is looking for servants. And it, it, it will make you serve. And it is a hard servant. Sorry, a hard master, I'm sorry. Hard master. It'll make you serve. It'll make you wake up early morning. It'll make you go to sleep late. It'll not give you any rest day. It'll get you work all seven days. Mammon is a hard taskmaster. And he will make you serve. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, we have a prosperity message that is also give and you will get. So give and get. What are we looking at? When we only preach, give and get. When we only preach, I want to bring this into balance. When we say, okay, you give and you will get. What, is, what, what are we focusing on? What we are getting. Are you, are, you getting, are you getting what I'm saying? We are only focusing on what are we getting. Okay, what are we going to get? What are we going to get? Okay, I put thousand, I'm going to get hundred thousand. Ah. So your focus is not on the Lord. Your focus is once again on your selfish desire. Mammon is a one who has a selfish desire. Only thinks about self. Nothing else. Okay? Um, and that can rule your life. You need to break it out. Break, break out of it. You know, uh, last Sunday as we go through this series, I want to say, you know, uh, the first first uh, point here is I have three questions today. First point is, you know, who is Mammon? Okay, what is Mammon rather? What is Mammon? My, mammon is a spirit that tries to rule your life, control your life. It will try to steal your time, and it will to promise you things. That you can only get from God. What does mammon uh, promise? Significance. Security. Happiness. But those things are, can only be found in the Lord. All through life at times. We bow down to mammon. And serve mammon. And we are loyal to mammon. Now I'll show you some of the examples that are in your life. You know, God is the only person that who can provide us identity. Security, peace, happiness. But Mammon says, if you had a little bit more money, if you had a little bit more money, your life would be better. Now I know that you don't hear that kind of voices in your head. This is only me. You know, I'm saying, I am addressing the spirit of Mammon in my life, so I'm talking to you to bless you. But he talks to you and says, if you have a little bit of money, people will listen to you. Because if you have a little bit of money, you'll dress better. If you have a little bit of money, you will have a vehicle that is better. If you have a little bit of money, your house will be better. So mammon keeps speaking to you. Mammon is a spirit. That's why when you try to put something in the offering, it speaks to you and tells you. <laughs> Are you sure? 
this guy i don't know it, it might be only for the pastor not for you he is talking about things you know but you know no how you are living you know what you have in your account so i mean don't no no 1000 no no give 500 mammon is a spirit it speaks to you any hands that are in agreement okay about two people are telling the truth thank god okay you see <laughs> if you had more money how many of you had that thought in your head am, am i the only one if you had a little bit of money if you if you had a bit of more money and i'm going to share a story i even when i was getting ready for this mammon was speaking to me okay because mammon does not like you getting out of his control his control is always keep telling you this is all you have now if no matter what he says don't open that purse you already put some money in that uh, envelope that is what you need to give no matter what he says don't change you know what you have to do what mammon says is you are a slave to me you better stay a slave to me or else fear is coming to you you will not have to eat how will you go back it is talking to you man this is good stuff this is practical stuff because some of you don't know that you are under the spell of mammon until you realize the truth the truth shall set you free have did you ever when you read the gospel i believe you are reading the bible so if you you read the bible when you read at least the four gospels okay uh, matthew mark luke john have you ever seen jesus say oh i need more money any place you you have seen jesus say oh i a little bit i need a little bit of money when the when the when the blind bartimaeus called and you know said oh son of you know son of david have mercy hey i need a little bit of more money double up your offering i'll heal you no i i, I, I want you to see this because we got to have a right idea about prosperity right idea we are not under the control of mammon and we got to break free everybody say break free okay we think in the context either god needs to come through or we need somebody to give me some money how many of you thought like that god have to do do a miracle or i need some money it's a constant battle this is good stuff i am speaking my life here to you uh, it's a constant battle and it says you know hey 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 and mammon makes it worship it how when mammon says you rise up come bevan come here bevan has been a great example for the last uh, um few weeks he's been helping me count this money bevan he's a banker so i you know I have, he's a faithful guy i believe you know he's going to count all of these things great yeah get the camera on him because he needs to be on the spotlight also we're great yeah 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 all of you you know type with the name bevan i'm just kidding <laughs> all right look at it look at it. how much is there uh, say it loud man 50000 50000 50, now i have a question for you I have a question for you. I'll tell you how how Bevan how, how not Bevan speaks but <laughs> Mammon speaks. <laughs> I'll tell you how Mammon speaks to you. Mammon speaks to you and says, "Now I'll I'll ask you this question, ladies and gentlemen. Be honest with you. If I tell you I'm going to give you this 50,000, but tomorrow morning you got to wake up at 5." Listen to this. This is how Mammon speaks. This is how Mammon speaks. Some of you don't know that you are under the grip of Mammon. And I'm showing you how you are under the grip of Mammon. When Mammon speaks and says, "Hey, I'm going to give you 50,000." Will you wake up at 5 o'clock? <laughs> and I'll tell you because you are not answering, I'm speaking for all of you, I believe, you know, because you've already thought, "What can I do with 50,000?" <laughs> Ding, got ya. Wow. Wow. I'm preaching good here. <laughs> What I'm trying to tell you, somebody told me I can't wake up. I'm not a morning person, but I can't wake up. But I'll tell you that somebody, if I tell you fifty thousand is given, next day morning you are up at five o'clock. Why? 
because you got plan for money because i'll tell you because money is a spirit of mammon that controls you money is not evil we're going to look at it but mammon can control you and determine when you wake up and when you go to sleep but if you tell if i tell you that the god of the heavens and the earth can deliver you more than 50000 if you honor him first and i tell you to wake up in the morning come on this is good stuff come on this is good stuff right here good stuff i'll tell you if some people knew that you were giving 50000 out today if you come to service i'll tell you i bet we will not be able to close this doors right now why why not 8:45 8:30 no 6 o'clock in the morning you'll be here why why ladies and gentlemen look at this why why i mean this is good stuff right here this is what jesus said hey this controls you if you are a slave to it if you are moved only by this and not moved by god you will always live your life under the spirit of mammon it will tell you when to wake up it will tell you when to sleep it will tell you when to put your clothes on and take it off it will tell you when to do what because it will control your life and many pastors don't like to talk about this or many people don't talk about this because they don't understand they don't understand this you know what they don't understand that this doesn't have any power when you compare to the lord some of your heart also sank when the 50000 fell like oh my god because i'm thinking about all the things yeah <laughs> he got he, he got a bit scared he took his phone away can you man I, you know you know what i'm trying to tell you here ladies and gentlemen i want you to hear this very clearly i want do you get what i'm saying i i want you to get this clearly you know if you put the put the lord first you know people find a way when money is on the line but when grace is all you got you respond from your heart not as a slave but as a son <laughs> slavery tells you commands you god opens his hands and welcomes you if you know what he can do i i am i'm i'm talking my life here ladies and gentlemen i'm talking my life the things that we have right now it's not boasting i'm boasting in the lord the things that we have all the things that we are living with right now i can tell you yes i have worked hard but i put god first we put god first and i can assuredly tell you that if money is the factor that controls your life no matter how much you give 10% because you only feel you need to come on a sunday and that's it you will never let the lord lead you for the rest of the week wow that came out so good i can't even remember to say it again okay do you understand what i'm saying some of your heart is been pounded when i stand on the money and the 50000 man don't tear that don't don't tear don't don't stand on it man you know what i'm telling you don't let that spirit determine when you wake up what time you look give to the lord because god comes first it's been seen you know people will get prize or people will do whatever it is to come if if i tell you am i am i telling the truth here am i can i be honest with you am i telling the truth here why because we are moved by it and when you only let go of it you will see real blessing come to you it will chase after you it will chase after you i'm telling you it will chase after you when you learn how to give when you wake up what is the first thing you do what is the first thing you do when you wake up in the morning can you wake up early enough to give him gosh this is good stuff it spoke into me also <laughs> this is not all about sunday that's why we come together on sunday but monday morning we pray with the marketplace people okay and then throughout the week we have life groups and oh, why do we have all of these communities because we come together to honor the lord and it is important factor to honor the lord but if money can change your behavior it has already got a control of you because only the lord should be able to change you and i hope this is good stuff right good stuff good stuff 
good stuff good stuff everybody say good stuff type in there good stuff you know number 2 man <laughs> you can sit thank you yeah oh how do, how how do you get rid of a spirit of mammon by giving giving tithes to the lord giving time to the lord giving of yourself to the lord but first you give the tithe to the lord okay is money evil a question is money evil no money is not evil money is neutral it what 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 are you using it for that makes it evil okay you can use it on prostitutes and pornography and gambling and all kinds of crazy things okay that is for evil you can use it for drugs and alcohol and all kinds of crazy things but then also you can use it to give to build the kingdom of god okay well, 1 timothy 6:10 is have you got that 1 timothy 6:10 i mean uh, yeah 1 timothy 6:10 for the love of money is a root of all evil love of money is a root of all evil which because when you love money you have already chose chosen whom you are loving am i right because jesus said you can't serve two masters that's why when you money is on the line you can wake up when god is on the line and to be honored you can't wake up it has already controlled you you got to break out of it i'm speaking the truth because i love you because i want to see you blessed some of you are like oh man that's hard i'm tr- speaking the truth because i love you it changes you is money evil no it's neutral but loving and serving money is evil if that is the only cause you are only thinking about money how can i make more money how can i make more money no are you you need to be thinking how can i honor god work hard and please don't get me wrong ah huh? i pastor you say no no work hard i work hard people around me know we work hard and then i kela knows that i can be a workaholic if man it's just crazy but i love god more than my work okay <laughs> in other words look at this verse okay verse number 9 uh verse number 9 can we get verse number 9 uh, st okay verse number 9 right here and i say to you make friends now people don't understand this verse they just read the verse okay but i'm going to break down for you so that you understand this verse and i say to you make friends everybody say make friends <laughs> for yourselves by unrighteous mammon what what is it okay that when you fail they may receive you into an everlasting home people are wondering what is this you know what this is look at this that word fail okay this is nkjv we are reading right here the root word fail means dead when you die look at this so use mammon to make friends now not by bribing but telling use your money to invest in the kingdom of god so that the people who come to know the lord okay when you die they will receive you into everlasting i thought that was a powerful revelation right there you didn't see it like that now look at that I say to you make friends for yourself by unrighteous mammon use the money you have so that you will build friendships that will be influenced to bring to the kingdom of god now don't give money and convert them but don't use your money on yourself but know how to have the idea that you're going to sow into the kingdom of god in other words when when uh, in a day in 50 60 years time when pastor woody and pastor melanie die and go to heaven all of the impact they have made here on the earth all of those people will come to the gates of heaven to welcome them now i have a question for you where have you given in the kingdom that you know those guys are going to come to welcome you wow i i i thought that it was profound okay when you sow when you give you're not only just giving to the church now see okay uh, number 3 not only giving to the church but you 
you have also become a part of that not not only past woody now as you give you have also become a part of that welcoming company in heaven wow is this making sense to you do you understand what i'm saying that's a powerful thing go home and read that verse again okay what should i do with money be good stewards <laughs> some people say oh i got you pastor i'm only getting 10000 no i i only get 1000 pastor so 100 what difference will it make pastor so no look at this verse right here okay if that is the way of thinking oh i have little so i don't when i get big more money i will give if that is the way of thinking you have god will not entrust much here uh, look at this okay really quick verse number 10 he who is faithful in what is what least is faithful also in okay and he who is unjust in what is least you know what it means if you can't give tithes from 1000 rupees and then you can't give from the rest of the money you have how can he entrust good things to you i heard a wonderful story one pastor said he had a only daughter and when uh, the man uh, who was going to marry or wanted to date came to meet him he said hey uh, he he talked to you know father would talk and he was a pastor as well and he was talking and then he said you know uh, he was a pastor and this boy was a part of his church so dating his only daughter so then uh, and he was always talking about tithing giving and all that so when uh, he was dating the daughter so somebody said i bet for sure your father has definitely looked at all of the uh, tithe receipts <laughs> of of this boy who's dating you know for sure and she said i am definitely sure and the boy was like oh my god like oh, what do you, what do you mean oh my god i thought you should tithing yes but one day one day i got one day late i got paid on friday but i didn't have internet to transfer so i transferred on saturday so this girl goes home and asks the father uh, hey did you try did you check his tithe he said yes i did said is there everything okay everything is okay but one day one day he has paid late so one of his pastor friend asked aren't you too hard on this thing then he said this my daughter is my only daughter she is my treasure if a man cannot manage and honor god in what has been given to him by another man we like give my treasure to that man think a study for pastor julian and myself <laughs> but i am here to tell you give steward your finances well discipline yourself to honor god first not only in your finances in everything make room for him just don't think like you come to church is enough you know serve god with your whole heart you know you pray in the morning you're making space you're making room you know what we are doing when we honor him first in everything we do in our gifts in our time in our talents in our homes you know what we are doing we are breaking the spirit of mammon of our life we walk into blessing many christians are there in the church and they're wondering why they are praying and not getting blessed because they have not come into god's order while i was preparing this we had a really big need and while i was preparing this last monday every monday is the day that i prepare for the sermon i don't prepare friday night or saturday night mondays we prepare take time you know the whole staff works while i was preparing in the prayer room right here while i am preparing i can hear the enemy speak to me mammon speak to me and said hey you are going to speak about me but what about this need that you have you still don't have money for it and for a while for about 2 or 3 minutes i was listening to him actually 
how many of you get caught in the moment you know they, they speak to you they speak to you then i stood up and i started praying and i said i rebuke you i will i will not listen to you my god will supply all my needs according to riches in glory and what i speak is the truth no matter what you have to say or no matter what i am going through so the phone was ringing uh i had several missed calls normally i tried not to take any call except for my wife because she's next to the holy spirit i'm, <laughs> I'm kidding <laughs> <laughs> just a, just a joke okay kela is like oh why why do you even make that statement um, 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 what i'm saying is i'm trying to i'm trying to focus myself so i came home and about 2 o'clock or 2:30 or whatever i called back one of the numbers that i called uh, i got a missed call from and said hey uh, there's a small gift for you send you account number and i'll send you know um, send you account number so i just send them account number i get about 5 minutes i i get an alert on my phone 100000 has been transferred thank you for your enthusiasm you know what i'm what i'm trying to say what i'm trying to say is when you learn to honor him and not listen to the voice everything in the bible that you see does not look logical our finite mind can't hold an infinite god do you get what I'm, i hope you understand what i'm saying so i mean science can't prove that a man can be there 3 days in the belly of a whale of course science can't prove that jesus was a born of a virgin science can't prove that can science prove walking on water what am i trying to say any of these things if you can prove you have already put god in a box god always does things out of the box actually he does not have a box that is why hallelujah yes so what i'm trying to say is when you give when you give when you give it may not make sense it may not make sense because it is something supernatural okay with this last story i will conclude uh so what it means is if you learn to give with the little you have before time you will have more and more and more and more and more you will have you i mean god will supply things for your family god will supply things for you and so that you can bless your friends and you can bless your extended family because it is all about learning to let go of yourself and break the spirit of mammon somebody say amen to that okay chick fil a is a international chain but big in america okay big in america uh they decided several years ago that they will not work on sundays they will not work on sundays okay listen to this okay they decided they will not work on sundays and guess what sunday is the biggest pay day of the week and all of their consultants said this is a bad idea they said no we are going to honor god we're going to take a sabbath you can google this and you can find this normally every fast food restaurant makes a profit of only 1 million approximately dollars a year chickfile makes 5 million a year with a sunday off does it make sense he does things that does not make sense that is what you honoring god that is what can do when you honor god he doesn't need your money but he needs your honor you honor is you make time make space you change anything don't honor mammon so much in your life said you can't make room for him you can come to church you will go to heaven but you will never be able to see his blessing actually penetrate and overcome your life what is the first commandment honor 
the Lord. So it is about 